some weird shit going on behind the scenes here. I got an email, what, yesterday afternoon? Yep. What was the email again? We all did. Yeah, what did it say? Uh, okay. That there were allegedly photos of me on the internet blowing someone? Not those emails. Huh? Oh, thank you for covering up that fucking hard attempted at humor. <laughs> Jesus, was that weak? Why? Fucking mouthful of pretzel. Tie yourself into something topical. Ugh. <laughs> uh, oh, huh? Where uh. is it? All I know is, uh, stupid E Rock, first of all. All right. And I hate when people do this. Like, Elo did this to, to us recently. I got some unbelievable news. G give me a call. Oh, I know. It's like, will you write the news in the email itself? Write it the fuck down. Iraq so, did that yesterday. Ooh, that pissed me off. We got him in here, Iraq. Do we or no? And people do this all the time. We're not alone. And and with with. with with Elo, then he's a busy man. I call him back, and of course it goes right to voicemail. Then I call his, uh, his uh, secretary or whatever she is down there, and and she's like, oh, he's in a meeting. So now I'm like, what the fuck is this unbelievable news? And then, by the way, it turned out to be not unbelievable news. It was who cares news, not even worth mentioning. Yeah. But uh, E-Rock did this to us yesterday. Yeah. This is something also I have a problem with. It's a little bit of a tangent, but it's on, on, the, same, on the same vein. Uh, you ever have a problem with your computer or any kind of uh, electronic device or something around the house? So you go, you go to a website, uh, you go to Yahoo, you put in your problem, you find a forum with, that answers these problems. It's how it's supposed to work. It's all this information's everywhere, and then you find a thread finally that has your problem, and you're like, "Fuck, great! I'm going to get an answer." You click on the thread. It says, hey, I'm having such and such a problem. Can somebody help me out? And it's the same problem you have. So you scroll down, and it's the same guy that posted that he has a problem posting, oh, never mind, figured it out. Ugh. And you're sitting there going, this fucking selfish cocksucker couldn't for take two seconds to write how he solved the fucking problem and let that information out there so that you could just maybe... Check it out. You know what? Good for him. <laughs> Fuck you, Jimmy. <laughs> I knew you'd like that. I knew you would like the other guy, the dickhead guy in my story. Isn't that the greatest. Of <laughs> Figured it out. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. It's like that's why you put it out there so people can, like, then it's more information that's on the internet to use mm. for other people to call for their own needs. But the selfish fuck doesn't even think about that. He's looking for an answer at first. Please help me. I can't fi ah, figure it out. Go fuck yourself. Yeah. That's what you did yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Iraq. what's wrong with you? No, it, Seriously. It, it was my fault that it didn't go through, but I did type something else and I got the little red X on the Blackberry, but I went to lunch and didn't look at it till later. It doesn't matter. The, the first one... Five hours later, yeah. lunch. <laughs> the first one, you left us hanging. Yeah, so that he, was my he fault. He wrote to the entire Opie and Anthony staff, and at this point, there's way too many names on this list. We got to cut it down. Oh, I, 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 I pretty much cut the list. Yeah. Depending on what the subject is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of you fucks never see it. <laughs> uh, E-Rock, we're talking about some other show stuff, whatever stuff, and then E-Rock uh, writes an email. Also, we have to discuss Master Poe's meltdown as he just blew up in the outer office calling everyone not nice names. End of message. End of message. Mm -hmm. so, so now you sit there, you read that, and you're thinking, you stupid fuck. Why didn't you just... Take the time to r describe exactly what happened. Like, we're just going to sit there and go, oh, that's nice. You, you piqued curiosity. You fucking did a tease on an email. You teased an email. It was unintentional, but I'm sorry. How is it unintentional? Because then the next one I went to send, and it had the, the little red X on it. I didn't realize it went through, and I went to lunch. Why I came back later. Write it on that. See, that would make sense if you were doing, like, a nationally syndicated radio show. That's something you say going into break, <laughs> right? But we're not in yeah. we're not in break. We're in our uh, in our real lives. Why didn't you just write it as you were writing the the right. blow up and? Oh, so then everyone piled on, just oh, beating yeah. up E Rock. Like, what's the fucking news? Like, uh, details might help on this one. Thank you. Even stupid Steve texted me something, and he goes, uh, and uh, blah blah blah. blah. And, and did you read the uh, email con uh, uh, the concerning Master Poe? What the... F did he die? What the fuck does that mean? Steve did it to me, too. That could mean anything. So, what's the story, Iraq? What happened yesterday? 
Um, Master Poe was uh, quite annoyed. Uh, he has a chess set that he likes to set yeah. up outside. We see the chess set outside. And uh, he likes to play sometimes with Jimmy during the break. Yep. Well, the chess set has been sitting there. They have one of these games that, like, uh, it's like a... Uh, uh, people in in old episodes of Columbo have <laughs> it's it's just like they they make one move every week or something and uh, you might remember this uh, this move was done by uh, Stratovarius back in uh, 1705. <laughs> Do you notice, Lieutenant, how the bishop is always diagonal? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Where's Paul? He's out there. Wait, li- and that's oh. Paul. Wait. Okay. And that's, uh, you know, they, they, they play a game. Mm-hmm. So the chess set's out there. And it's been sitting out there for a while. They haven't played recently, but every no. day he sets it up. And um, it, it seems to annoy some people that mm. uh, they're playing chess. So one of his pieces disappears from his uh, from his chess set there. And he keeps asking me to find the chess piece. And I, I'm saying, I'm working. I don't know where it is. And finally I said, why don't you ask the interns or the other guys in the office? And he goes, no, it's not an intern. I said, well, they're in the office. Ask them. So he goes into the office and asks everybody else where the piece is, and nobody knows where this chess Mm -hmm. piece is. 20 minutes later, he finally goes back into his office, and the chess piece is sitting, I guess, on his desk right there. Oh, he's racing in now. He's going to choke you out. He's going to choke you out. Oh, Uh -oh. Jesus. What is that? What? How long have I known you? <laughs> oh, grab what? The crazy? Oh. What? How long have I known you? For oh. two and a half years. Yeah. You're gonna lie that I'm the piece lying? is on my desk? That's what I what, was told. What are you crazy? By who? Who? Get him inside right now. Come on, liar. Let's go. I never saw the piece. I was told it was put back on uh, his desk. Now you're saying Come you inside were told. now. Yes. Right here. Uh, wait. Turn on. Oh, really? Where's mind. the piece? <laughs> It, the piece. Go ahead. Been, where's the piece? In your ass? No, it's not in my ass. It's been sitting on your desk since yesterday. Really? Early afternoon. Really? Why? Oh my God! It miraculously jumped out of the board and walked over all by itself no. into my room. Does it have a clicker to get in my room? Because no, because does it have a clicker hold to on, get in my hold room? On. I just Let's said explain. no. Because. Yes. On my way out yesterday, I thought it would be a funny joke, as we all joke around, oh, to take boy. the chess piece off of the board and nah. put it in my pocket as I went downstairs. Now you know better. Of course I know better, but we joke around. Yeah, I, I go home with dildos and gay porn all the time. <laughs> we talk to Mars. We were, yeah, talking um, about, <laughs> we were talking about the joke, so. Now, oh, uh, yeah, not, not that, just what we do. That was just thievery from my desk. <laughs> I would have no use to I was just this. trying to cover up my obsession. Now, uh, what, what, Who put this here? Oh, I did. Oh. Now, why is uh, E-Rock a lying sack of shit? Yes. Yeah. Because where am I lying in this? Yeah, well, you well, did say that you had radio experience before you joined on this program. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like that. You just said that it was on my table. On From my what desk. I was told. Okay, but you didn't say that. You said it was on my desk. Okay, you were okay. correct in that. But All right, then so I then I came in I and was told. All right, fine. Well, it wasn't on my desk. Okay, so I'm not really lying. Well, it wasn't my, on my desk. Well, let's and Sam explain. He's the one that knows. When did a lot you put it on my this. desk? Now? No, I put it on your desk while you were out yesterday because I was informed after I got back. I said, okay, I'll just put it back now, and that way he'll say, oh, it was gone before. Now it's back. That was funny. End of bit. But uh, I was informed that you said after you left that it better be back in the box by the time you get back. Uh, and I don't necessarily respond well to threats, but I still, I don't want to <laughs> anger anyone. <laughs> Are you fucking crazy? I so, love this kid. I love him. So I asked around. Give yourself a raise. <laughs> oh, my God. So I asked I around him. to Than and said, I can't actually put it back now, can I? And he said, no, just make sure it's in plain sight. And so at about noon yesterday, actually, I left it. It, it had to be 1130. About 11.30, I put it back in your office in plain sight, and just before I came in here, I walked by your office, and I can see it from the window without even going into the office. I think we're going to find we're out on top of the desk. in his head. I'm, I'm assuming <laughs> Wait, that is it's, your office locked right I'm now? I'm assuming that Hold it's on. right in the front. Wait, is your... No, o- not in the front. Is your office locked? No. It's not in the front because... If I just put it in the front, it would be just like putting it back in the box. Oh. The oh. <laughs> yeah, perish the thought. Oh. Be the point of- <laughs> so what you're saying is that you placed it somewhere in my room, but not necessarily on my desk. No, I didn't hide it. I put it on. It's on. You have six desks in your room. So, Rook, 
course. I can't. Look, Jim, Jim has found it. He right in for plain text. course. Absolutely, because I ran in here and someone threw it inside. No, you know what? Sure that it it hasn't, I did not, no. Why would I lie now? No, I, I just I, said that I, I'm I believe. Admitting. I hate to say that. I believe Sam, without a doubt. He has the balls, you know. Oh, so, so Poe's saying that, that so because now this that was exposed, that someone ran in, threw it no. in there, sorry, and no, then Paul. came back? Sorry. Don't. That's why Eric said, the reason Eric said that uh, it's on your desk. See, we weren't going to tell you it's on your desk and then let you go off and then tell you it's on your desk. By really? the way, does, has this camera left since you've been in here? Mm. There's a picture of it on this camera. So no one ran while you were in here to put the piece back. What happened was we could show you a picture right now, and no one ran out of here with this camera, right? And you've been out there the whole time. So how are they going to get past you to put the piece in? I'm not doubting you. I'm not doubting you. Eric, I'm not saying that it's not on the camera, but I am saying that it wasn't there this morning. It absolutely was there this well, morning. I'll tell you it was one there thing. yesterday. I, I, I have to say this, because I, I even said to Poe, about the chest, and I'm like, I thought it was all resolved. So I'm like, wasn't the piece on your desk? Because that was said in an email yesterday. Yeah. I don't know who said it, but that's oh. the only reason I knew about it. Was I'm like, oh, they they goofed and Poe got pissed off, and then someone put it back on his desk. So I assumed that when you mentioned uh, chest this morning, that you, or I mentioned it, that you had found the piece. We that assumed was we assumed you were pissed off because you found the piece. Nobody here had any idea until you sent your newest email that you didn't even have it. You should up assume. until right now you didn't know. That's right. You shouldn't assume. Eric, when Eric said. It must be it. You, it's on your desk. We all screamed in there and called Eric a bit ruiner because. <laughs> because bit we ruiner. Gonna... How about a lifesaver? He was Eric was trying to save his own life. I heard Paul was yelling at him By and he life. saw his head exploding. I heard. Speaking of the yelling, used uh, lead bag. Uh, wow, so much for Eastern philosophy and discipline and maintaining calm. That's what I said. <laughs> I heard every twenty years. I heard that you. From Eric yesterday, that you there was an utterance that came out of your office that went that little. Well, there was actually something before that okay. too. Ooh. And what was that? Before it was suggested to Sam about where this chess piece might be up his ass. Um, yeah. Paul has come over to came over to me again and uh, in front of a room full of people, he says, "Could you ask one of your assholes <laughs> for my chess piece back?" Or I'll say it in your voice, "One of your assholes <laughs> to get the chess piece back." And, and he was calling everyone faggots and stuff. This, yeah. this comes after. After Apparently. Sam put the piece back. So you, did you ask your assholes? I, that's what I went to them. I'm like, he is really I mad. I went to them. <laughs> he just said, yeah, I went to them. He went to the asshole leader. Yeah, Sam. leader of the assholes, Sam. <laughs> Apparently, the way it started yesterday, he was quiet when I left, you know, just pissed off, but he was just quiet. And out of nowhere, Eric said he heard him go, that little faggot. Well, this is that's what it leads to. Sam is long gone, uh, and it's been quiet for a while. Ron and Fez are doing their show. <coughs> All of a sudden, out of nowhere, you hear... Oh, that faggot. That little <laughs> faggot. And he comes storming out of his office. Now, everybody is in here watching him. And he, he goes like this. He goes, all you mindless faggots. And he's like, I'm done with your uh, having a sense of humor. This was a gift. Um, I believe pussy faggot was used as well. <laughs> but you're not. You see, the thing is, er Eric's doing a pretty good job of explaining this. But you have to. But he's not really delivering the the uh, the enrage. The rage oh, that really? I mean, he was fuming. Which made he me was yeah. fuming. Which made me assume that he had just found the piece, and that's what tipped him off. So I I and Eric ah. and said, "Oh, he must have found the piece." Wow. Well, this let me, let me is, ask uh, let me ask you something. Yeah. Each and every one of you, you do it's have like access to my room. Company don't episode. You? I, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You do have access to my room. So at any time, you could have placed the chess piece there yeah. while I wasn't in the room. Sure, but there's, after there's the fact. No, I'm sorry. Sure, it, it, it is possible. Am I You know correct? how you can easily disprove that? Um, there's cameras everywhere. Yes, there are. So you could easily go check the p past 24 hours and see when the chess piece was replaced, couldn't you? Oh. And we'll not only see when it was re replaced, but we'll see where it was placed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're yeah. saying that it was on my desk. <laughs> is that, look, we'll do that. If you want to come with me, oh, we'll take wow. the wireless. We'll do that. I'll show you exactly where it is and where it's been for. Let's get a clip of that video. 20 hours. I want to see exactly where yes. the video, because it could be cut. There could be a cut in this videotape. Hey, Paul, here's my problem. Why can't you take a joke? I could take a joke. You can't. You're I the could only take one around here that can't take a joke. No, I, 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 I was laughing. I, was I go home with dildos and gay <laughs> porn. I'll say it over and over again. And, and after a while, I finally said, all right, guys, joke over. And, and but I got mad. My, I, but I didn't lose my fucking mind. Never. Everyone gets fucking 
You never you know, called me a mindless pussy faggot. No. We think it. <laughs> but everyone... But from this day forth. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys, so it shall be you guys, they've emailed, they, from my email account, have emailed, I think, everybody at this point. You know, I love Anthony, and, you know, oh, I, I remember I sent out a MySpace bulletin once. I saw once. Back, by the way. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I believe I sent no, out a MySpace. everyone step up to the mic. Everyone yeah. gets goofed on, but for some reason, when it comes to you, you're not, like, part of the club for some reason. You can't take it, and it's, it's bothersome. I'm not even, like, joking anymore. This is, a, like, a real issue. They sent out a bulletin for like, my account. Like, he leaves his email open, and, and it's nothing but gay IMs to everybody he knows. <laughs> yeah. Remember when me and you, Poe, were going to get married on, uh, on, on MySpace? Remember I sent that bulletin out? That was yes, cool. it was wonderful. <laughs> Two countries think I'm gay. Yeah. And, That's and, true, though. And yeah. To be honest, yeah. if that no. chessboard is very important to you, I wouldn't have it around here. Get a cheap fucking chessboard. Well, I wouldn't I'm, trust anything of value around here myself. Well, I would, I'm not bringing in anything. Not with these fucking assholes. Right. Not with Eric's assholes. <laughs> I'm not, uh, and that's the other thing. Uh, Poe assumes that Eric has any sort of power over us to make the, oh. that we would actually tell Eric, you know, that, that Eric could make us talk. So you are saying that you are not Eric's subordinate? <laughs> no. <laughs> wow. Of course not. <laughs> of course not. Wow, that's fucked up. But we wake I up. I think Sam we, has a little bit. Just a little bit of an overinflated a sense of his own worth here. That's mm -hmm. all right. I just do. I and, Go with and this I'm not man. saying. Go with this. Here it is. Here it is. I'm not saying <laughs> you don't carry a lot of weight around here with what you do. Not physically. <laughs> you're a fucking feather. But uh, you, you do seem to put yourself a little above people that have tenure here. And people that do pretty much the same stuff you're doing. Mm. Maybe some people do it better. Maybe some people do uh, it worse. I am not. I am not uh, judging anybody. But based on tenure alone, you should probably shut up sometimes. Well, well, are I'm you saying that he's Jackie the Joke Sam? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not number one guy or anything. I'm, yeah. As far as this show goes, I'm certainly well below Than. He's now Than, if, if Than does. told you that something needed to be done, and could you get on it? Right away, because I think everybody treats each other around here, aside from the jokes, you know, in a working environment, it's not, hey, asshole, get this fucking job done, unless it's a, an intern or something like that, yeah. those wasteless fucking waste of shit. But you would listen to Than. Oh, yeah. Uh, Iraq, would you listen to him? If Iraq said, well, Sam, you actually got See, it. See, Justin, your whole, your whole would, tone just changed. It's like, nah, yeah, fine. He knows it's just a matter of time. He, you know, what about like, Danny? I'll listen for now. Do you see Danny being over you in any way, shape, or form? Of course. I respect everything Danny does. Wow. Okay. How about Bill? No, not even close. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Bill. Poor Bill. No respect. Uh, how about Derek? Oh, yeah. Derek is... Uh, Derek's like your and boss. You can't even joke around with Derek. <laughs> Steve? Steve's the boss. Steve's the boss. The boss man. Right. That's nice. But you... Wow, Iraq. <laughs> you have gotten... And this is <laughs> fucked up. Iraq came here. He was the first fucking guy here. <laughs> right. The first guy. It was me... Opie, Jimmy, and fucking Iraq. That was it. And Steve. And, and Steve. you are and now the Fredo of this fucking organization. I was passed over. <laughs> you're now like, you're not getting respect from half a fucking nigger. <laughs> if I may use the band term that is now... Uh, <laughs> Jimmy covered his face because I said half. <laughs> <laughs> What happened, Eric? What happened down the fucking tracks of your career where now he's saying, no, I won't listen to you? I still remember meeting Eric. It was me and Oprah were in a Soho. We went to look at photos that day, and he like, I got this kid, Eric. It was the first time that I met Iraq. He said, I got this kid, Eric, from Florida. I know I actually met you before that, but that was the first time I actually hung out with you. We, we had done an interview in Florida. He's like, I get this kid. He's, he's really good. He's going to be coming on to the show. And uh, we weren't even signed at XM yet. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. That was in Soho. We all went out to lunch. And, and then... Like, the potential this kid has. Now there's a fucking gaggle of guys over here that you're just a running joke for. Sex bagel. Sex bagel. Sex bagel. Sex bagel. Look, see? There's no respect. You got to beat one of these guys up, you know. Yeah, right? but there's no dirt on Sam. We've been looking. Oh, there's, there's nothing. You got to get the there's biggest There's a million on me. Here's what you got to do. Prison rules. <sighs> Dig deeper. See, Steve? Mm -hmm. He's the biggest motherfucker in here. You got to punch him in the face and knock him out. That's right. Then the rest of the guys will be like, holy shit, you don't fuck with him. I think it's worth a shot. Why stop at Steve? You should go right for Master Poe. Oh, yeah. 
If you, you fucking respect. just see when Poe was yelling at you just before, if you just jumped up and punched him in the face with a tire iron, or you, something? we'd all be like, "Fuck, holy e rock shit, e is the rock. shit." No, we wouldn't. We'd be like, I'm going to miss Eric. <laughs> <laughs> like, he'd even get a punch in. No. Oh. If the fucking girl is slap, he'd try to throw. <laughs> he'd scratch Poe with his nails. Oh. No offense, Eric, but you're queer. <laughs> the rest of his night trying to pull a chess piece out of his asshole. But the point being, we all get goofed on, and, and Master Poe just can't... I don't know, man. I mean, this email proves a lot. We joke around every single day. Right. And that particular incident it was i felt that it was wrong sounded like you were on the phone with someone as i was passing by who was that you didn't call washington no no well could, hey, could you no read this email dml kamazi <laughs> <laughs> and then this email was just released at 9 15 this morning even though the chess piece according to sam <laughs> was back on one of his six desks in yeah. the office, but we have security cameras, so you so you can see for yourself there, Paul, when it was returned. But you're saying around 11:30 yesterday. 11:30 ish. Why didn't you almost give it 24 to me in my hours? Hand? Because of why? There's no it's reason. It's not funny. Yes, because it's not funny if I give it well, to you in your hand. I, you could have given it to me. I could have, but yeah. then I wouldn't have laughed about it. <laughs> oh God, damn oh, this guy! That's all. That's oh, true. This guy. There's no excuse. That's what I did it I for. I love this kid. Wow, Iraq, get up. Get up, Sam. <laughs> sit down. Oh, oh wow. No. Sit down, Sam. Oh, oh Eric, oh, you're man. in Sam's seat. You're in Sam's seat. I, I, I just, just. No. The boss is the, the boss is talking the now. The boss said that you got to just get up. You don't it. have to leave the room. Here, you can have the wireless mic though, because you might have something to add. But yeah. I want Sam to be very comfortable in front ah, of that. Ah, look, Danny is helping microphone. Sam with the chair. There you go. See, Pushed this is, it in now. That's see, nice. This is how it, it works, E Rock. There it is. More Climbing up the charts. That's this my week, it's that's my hoodie, kid. If you need it, just put it on. If you're a little chilly, feel free to wear it. Now, E-Rock, you're behind him. Try to choke him out or something, and then you might be sitting back down there soon. He's a minority. So it'll be a hate crime. <laughs> <laughs> not really. Not if a gay guy beats up a black guy. He's <laughs> <laughs> not gay because he has that weird haircut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Wow, you Although guys, this morning man. I said his new hair new looks good. So Concrete. Right. <laughs> Could you take that hat off for a second? Hey. I know a thing or two about a thing or two. <laughs> All right, thank you. Put it back. He, he rocked, decided to uh, cut down his hair plugs. It looks good. <laughs> uh, what? What? Looks just like it. Oh, boy. See, see, they're going to complain about dead air on the show again. Oh, no. Have they ever from, complained about dead air? From 10.05 to 10.06, I, I didn't find the show enjoyable. All I heard was dead air as Anthony was fiddling. I'm fiddling. Will you stop fiddling with that replay? Stop your fiddling. So we got this uh, email from uh, Paul. Everybody, including myself, including Anthony, yeah, and we yeah. had no clue about this uh, this gag that was going on yesterday. Uh, well, here it is, and this is from Master Poe. I noticed after the bit with the fake Bon Jovi. What was the bit with the fake Bon Jovi? One of our interns last name is Bon Jovi. <clears throat> it's not a fake Bon Jovi. He is Bon Jovi. <laughs> oh, his real name is Bon Jovi? Yes. Yep. Oh, I thought that... Like, the only reason Steve hired him. <laughs> yeah. Ew. Yeah, but it... Yeah. <laughs> was that the fake Bon Jovi, or was it the... Uh, Do you mean the bit yesterday? The Bono. Yes. Bono, I'm right. sorry. My mistake. Right. A little uh, typographical error. Oh, so it doesn't supposed to say Bono. <laughs> Jesus, Paul. I noticed after the bit with the fake Teddy Pendergrass. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed after the bit with the fake Bon Jovi that one of the pieces to my chess set, namely the Rook, was missing. This set was a gift to me and very expensive. Specifically, this set was brought in so I could engage in a mind battle with Jim Norton, <laughs> who also enjoys playing chess. A little mind battle. Oh. Like that. <laughs> Some Jedi mind shit on you. Well, at least people are going to find out why the show sucks. <laughs> Jim Norton's too busy doing mind battle with Poe to mind get anything done battling. on the radio show. I don't do anything on the show. I just rush out and make moves. Mind battle. What's you a mind battle? <laughs> When you play chess, you have to have a strategy against your opponent. And you have to have five moves ahead of each other. I know that's boring, but that's the fact. Five moves? Yeah. Can that's you, something I can never do in Can chess. you yell slurs at them if they... <laughs> Jesus. This kid, you're like what? fucking spider. You are like fucking spider. You're just going to get fucked. I got a line. Usually we move one or two pieces a day. And at times... We did not get a chance to play at all. Aww. I suspect whoever took it was trying to gain some laughter. 
At first, it was funny, including the message that was posted earlier during the week. Quote, nobody cares. What was that? Not me. <laughs> what was the nobody cares message? Uh, somebody uh, put a post it on the board that says nobody cares. So, yeah. Oh, on the who, chessboard. Who's brave enough to do Oh, that? on the chessboard? e rock e Now, was that a, a rebuttal to Poe, or was that just you, like, crying for help? No. <laughs> but it was the day before. I got tired of seeing the chessboard out there. So I said, you know what? He would never suspect me, because it's everybody else that fucks with him. So I loaded up the chessboard, like, teared it on the, the edge of the garbage can with a note that says, nobody cares. <laughs> oh, you know something? Get a chair for e -Rock. Get up. Get up. e -Rock, take a seat. Back to a down. set of balls now, and he fessed up to it right yeah. away. He raised his hand. I like that. Nobody cares. That's funny, because when I talked to you about it, you laughed and said, ha, 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 Of course ha, ha. I did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he laughed and lied to you. He's got balls <laughs> and soon no teeth. <laughs> yep. Well, it says, when I showed this to Eric, enjoying the humor, we both laughed. Yeah, we yes, both we laughed. Okay. I always go through the chain of command, and I felt it necessary to inform Eric Nagel to see if he could retrieve it from his staff. And I guess that would be the... Ooh. Get your fucking assholes or whatever it was. What was the uh, line? Ask your assholes. Ask your assholes where my uh, chess piece is. So that was uh, retrieved from his staff. <laughs> Being that he is in the position of power. <laughs> <laughs> anybody just want to chuckle at that, the staff? Sex bagel. Sex bagel. You would think he would. Uh, uh, you would think they would listen to him. Oh, well, see, that was a mistake there, Poe. No one listens to Sex Bagel. <laughs> I am sure whoever has this chess piece is comparing their chess pieces and recollect, recollecting on the many thousands of chess games they have encountered in their lifetime. <laughs> Was that sarcasm? Yes, I'm uh, learning from you guys. All right. I'm right. Put so a weird like, comma there. I'm sure whoever has this chess piece is comparing it with their chess piece, recollecting on how many thousands of chess games they've encountered in their life. Not bad. That's a good sarcasm there. Except the comma. Can I can I read it with the comma? You have a very odd read it with uh, the comma. Comma places, Pope. I am sure whoever has this chess pieces, comparing their chess pieces and recollecting on the many thousands of chess games they've encountered in their <laughs> lifetime. <laughs> it's a run-on sentence with a wrong comma. <laughs> Who can blame them? You're, you're writing and you panic. You know you need something in the sentence. I'll throw a comma right here. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you just throw it in and oh, break I the sentence up. <laughs> Whether this is the case or not, I would still like to have it returned at the end of the day. Oh, boy. If they feel that they need to save face and do not want to come forward as the do doer of this deed, then they are welcome to place it on the windowsill closest to talk studio. Poe. So uh, I guess that was seen as a kind of... Oh, everybody was. I had to point out to everybody the last paragraph because everybody went. He doesn't know it's in his office. It's right uh, behind yeah. him. All right, why don't you go show uh, Poe uh, where the chess piece is? And and Poe, you know what? You you don't have to take anyone's word for it. You got security cameras. You can check it out for yourself yeah, to see the, the who tape. who brought it back there and and at what time. We'll do. Where's Poe? I mean, mm -hmm. uh, Oh. Paul's got to go see and make sure. That oh yeah, yeah. He's, he needs his chest. Piece Look at back. Derek. Derek, let me let me just tell you what happens. Also, everyone's in here giggling, having good, they're laughing like a bunch, giggling like a bunch of schoolgirls. <laughs> <laughs> and and Derek comes walking in with a disc, just like gives it to Steve. Derek is never involved in these shenanigans. No. He's always working. He's all business. The yeah. guy is the consummate professional. I look at Derek as. One of the lead guys around here. What? You should. I go. Uh, look at look at Dan Wynn. You should. What? 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 I do. Derek well, used to like being that. He used to sit in Bill's seat, and uh, I, I remember the first time we we blurted some bit out or something, and music started, and we were like, "Who the fuck has the gall to hit a song in the middle okay, of one of so our you, bits?" And we looked, and it was actually Derek coming up with an idea yeah. that he thought would work, and it did work. And since that time, I've, I've put him on a bit of a higher level than the rest of the, uh, the crew here. He should be. 
He's but just, then he disappeared into fucking production. Steve stole him like some homosexual. I sure did. <laughs> yes. and, and and what goes on in here with regards to all the joking is what exactly what goes on in that other room with Derek because he just concocts promos that mock everybody. <laughs> oh, good. that's how he gets him. Yeah, he gets him. back at the people by working. Yeah, exactly. Very good. They're in the oh. office now. Oh, they're, in the, they're in the office. Yeah, oh. Mike's all right, Mike's run. All right uh, uh, take it away, Sam. All right, we're in the office. Poe, you wanted to say something? I've shown him where the piece has been uh -huh. and where it is now. Uh, yeah, you hit it uh, underneath uh, papers and... That's not underneath... Behind. I'm sorry. There was papers here. You had to look at it. You had to move the papers out of the way. No, no, no. That's one pad of paper. There's no way that pad okay. of paper is taller than a rook. And you placed it in the far corner. How am I supposed to see it? <clears throat> it's in plain view. Is it not in plain view? No. It's not in plain no, view right you now. Hit it. It's not hidden. It's in plain view. You can see it. I'm looking well, at now it. now you can see it. Look, pointing. Is How did they get the picture of it then? Maniac fucking yelling well, at Paul. Where's the rest of the show? I know that it, I couldn't see it. Oh, no. I, I, I came into this yeah. room and I was looking for it. I couldn't find it. <laughs> it was in plain view. Okay, well, I'm sure. Don't that get it. You, it was in plain view. Pass around the chessboard. Let everybody <laughs> take a look. <laughs> We're uh, headed back towards the studio. Yeah. yeah. Are oh, you? Yeah. yeah, he saw it. And he's what? He, you would have, you wouldn't have seen that, Poe. Come on. No, I didn't see it. Hmm. I swear to God, it's in plain view. There's nothing. I'll there say I did see it from the window. I like when it, once you told me like it was there. I, I said, "Don't tell me where it is." And Will and somebody were looking for it. I kind of peeked for a second. I was like, oh, I kind of knew it was a. When I sat in the office, I couldn't see it. No, Nick, you're probably facing out. You're facing the window. I'm facing out. Yes. Yeah, it was behind your back. But if you turn around and look, then it would have been there, right? Oh. When do you do the spin kick to Sam's head so we can find out if there's candy in it? There's no really? candy. No, not really. Can I? That would be... <laughs> no, I would never do that. <laughs> there's no reason there's for that. There's no reason for that. No. Oh, there's <laughs> no reason. <laughs> there's a reason. Stop it, Steve. All right, so what are you going to do now, Paul? <laughs> Kill somebody? What? What, what, <laughs> no. what happens now? No, no, I would never do that. There's no reason for me to do that. You're going to check the video camera? Um, no, if he's saying that he, he placed it there yesterday, I guess I'll have to believe him. I swear to you it was placed there yesterday. But, uh, okay. you know what? Just, uh, I think you're going to have to agree to disagree here yeah. on this one because yeah. uh, you think that it was placed in plain sight. <laughs> Poe thinks that you hit it. I, I know it was... Placed if you wanted to place it in plain sight, wouldn't you just put it right on his desk? No, I didn't. The idea wasn't for him to walk into his office and say, there it is right in front of me. Because the then that would have looked like his message has gotten to you, yeah. and you, then you, Here you, go. you secretly placed it somewhere. So you did, in fact, try in some way to hide it. Yes, but the idea would have been for him when he's packing up his office at the end of the day, after an hour of him being like, somebody must have taken it home. When am I getting this back? And then eventually he has to turn around. Eventually, and go to his papers he and has say, to turn around. There it was the whole time, right underneath my nose. Well, he well he he's saying that he noticed it yesterday, right after the fake uh, James Blunt bit, that <laughs> that the piece was missing. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> now what? Now what happens, Paul? Are you all right? Oh uh, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Are we allowed to joke with you or no? Absolutely. Or should we just leave you no. out of all the no, jokes? No, 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 no. That's fine. Uh, if if you're saying that you placed it there yesterday in plain sight and you feel that that's plain sight, I placed it there in plain sight. But as a joke, my intent was not for you to find it immediately. Yeah, because I'm, I'm part I'm, of the joke. Okay. That, so that wasn't a plain, week later. plain sight would have been the desk. Right. That right. would have been plain sight. We got we to gotta have a definition here. Hiding it would have been but like in, really stashing it. In a drawer. So, so it was somewhere in between plain sight and I'll hidden. In plain view in the sense that I walked on the outside of the office and looking in through the window of the office, I could see but it. But knowing that you put it there, like I could hide something in this office in plain sight and it could take you an hour to find, but I will be able to look at it and go, my God, it's right there. For you example, saw. in Master Poe's case, okay. you would never hide it in a book. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> a book titled Where to Put Commas. <laughs> <laughs> I, comma. <laughs> He put a semicolon after I. I. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. It would never be in uh, the middle of a dictionary uh, right? or an uh, English no. book. Or Here is yeah. the uh, a picture. <clears throat> now, see, I, I have to... I think I have to zoom in. Okay, it's there. That's where it is. Now zoom okay, out. Okay, now I'll zoom out and take a look. There's a pad and headphones. Okay. 
the the rook is. I gotta say, if you're turned around, you sure can see this. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I didn't um, know what was hidden in the room you. when I peeked from the window. I didn't know it was in the room in plain sight. You didn't know it was in the room. No, no. When he, when they told me, uh, like I, I just walked over there before and looked, and it took me about five seconds to find it. But again, I, I knew I was looking for now, it. Now I must also say that it is kind of camouflaged by the color of the Manila folders. I will say that are insight. there. That kind of looks, and if you're not looking at it, the eye can play some tricks on you there. In, in hindsight, I will say when I walked in there, it is camouflaged in with the manila. With the manila folders, envelope. So that, that could have been, ooh, you know, you're not quite going to see Behind the earphones. He wanted you to find it eventually. You're not totally yes. innocent yeah. in that you right. put it right there where when he walks in, it's going to be like somebody returned. See, you didn't want it to no. look like I saw a threat here and I returned it. Exactly. Yeah. You, wanted, you wanted to hide it a little bit. I wasn't returning it. I was making it so that he found it. After a while in his office, yeah. right. joke is If you want to make sure he would never find it, you'd hide it in the middle of a Rolling Stone magazine. There you go. <laughs> bon Jovi, Bono, thank you. Oh. oh. Or, um, I was reaching. Were you being deceptive? <laughs> I see the problem was Sam was being deceptive when under the rook he put the uh, no rook to be found here sign. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with Jimmy. You were. So, uh, bare bottom spanking? I say. <laughs> oh, wow. We'll get one all, slot, right? two for lucky. <laughs> Whose cost do we use? <laughs> Poe, I'm feeling that, it, uh, that an apology is in order. Uh, yeah, I think he should apologize. No, I think you should apologize. Oh, I agree. That's all I really do. I slurs. Think, I think oh, this staff dude. needs to know that you could take a joke, and the only way is to apologize for overreacting because they were doing a gag to you like they've done to everybody else. We're just trying to bring you into our group. You want to be part of the clubhouse. I really think you need to apologize and say, look, I overreacted. It's cool. You could joke with me. Just don't, just don't maybe uh, wreck my personal uh, belongings when doing it. Well, again, I have no problem with that. It's, you know, you took the rook, and it was a joke, and it was funny. It was very funny. Thank you. Um, but I thought someone was going to take it and keep it. I wouldn't do that. That's not a joke. That's theft. That's yes. Th but that's not really an apology. <laughs> we, we won't. Very good. We won't counselor. go to that. Very good. We won't go to that extreme. Like nobody's ever stolen anything from anybody here. No. They've no one hid, has. They've hidden stuff. You know. That, yes. how, how about an apology? Just like saying, I look, I apologize stolen. for overreacting. And, you know, there were a lot of people scared for their lives yesterday, Paul. Well, there's no reason for them to. So maybe a little feel apology. Afraid who, who needs their lives? Sam. That would kind of be nice, actually. I yeah. think if any one of us seriously. Called Poe a pussy faggot, mindless. a mindless pussy faggot, because you were serious yesterday. Oh, yeah. That uh, you'd go directly to HR. So I do believe that calling all of us a pussy faggot, yeah, that requires an apology. Oh boy, because yeah. uh, yeah, yeah. only one person. Poe, you overreacted a little, a little bit, a little bit, a little well, bit. Oh, you know how a little bit. That's one reaction, but you guys have overreacted also. I mean, you guys get angry. I don't, See, I don't he doesn't want to be part of but, this. But you know, I. I as far as what I did with right. Sam, we'll keep you out of the club. It's all right. You do your job, and we won't include you. Because now people are going to be scared to do gags with you. There's oh. no reason to be scared. I feel kind of scared. No, come on, <laughs> Sam. We joke around all the time. I know, but I feel like it's not as welcome as I thought it was. Okay, well, you did the joke, yes. and I apologize to you. There you go. But, Thank you. Thank oh, but boy. I'm but, asking you. are never good. <laughs> need a conditional. No, there's no conditions. I apologize, Sam, if, uh, there you if go. I overreacted. See? I accept your apology, Poe. There, there we go. Are we going to lunch? That's nice. Uh, how maybe about I could get some candy. How about an you? awkward man-on-man -man hug? Front to back. All right. <laughs> Steven Rock, go ahead. Well, that wouldn't be awkward. <laughs> oh. now, would it? No, not at all. <laughs> it's his, a bear and a cub. I mean, come on. A <laughs> bear and a cub. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. Is everyone happy? Iraq's got something he wants to add. Go ahead, oh, sweetie. Oh, Iraq, don't be shy. Um, I believe Master Poe has a gift. Uh, <laughs> I heard that you might have a gift. It's not the ability to take a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. And my favorite part was he's holding a video camera and he poked his head out from behind. Yeah. The little, thing, yeah. the little oh, eyepiece. Like, just, ah, let me, like a laughing box. <laughs> he just wants to make uh, sure he has evidence for the court case. <laughs> now, did that deserve me losing an arm? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Why don't we uh, take a well, what, what gift are you talking about? Poe? What gift? Oh, you want me to get it? No, I just brought it up for no reason. Okay. <laughs> oh, Eric. Oh, yeah. Hey. You're going to take that. 
<laughs> Put a little apology for the sarcasm. All right. Jesus. There you go. There he goes. I see you just put it on the front. Oh, God. <laughs> Gentlemen. All right. Now, was it in plain sight? No, it was in my bag. Oh, what was it? The one he rubbed on my face in the dream. <laughs> uh, what is... Wow. <laughs> this is called uh, Tabak Yeah, I know. Um, yeah. No, you had expressed don't. interest a long time ago that, that you yeah. had skills in uh, using this. I don't I, I don't want people to know my skills. Okay. Well, secret. Being a black ninja. Anyway, this wow. is homemade, and I'm giving this to Opie. It looks homemade. What, what is it? Wow. What, how is that used? Wait, what is this part used for? I've, I've done regular nunchucks. What is this part? Oh, it's almost like the cop nightstick. No, 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 no. You no? Hold, you I mean, hold why don't you show everyone how to do this thing? Yeah, that could do some damage. What is it? How heavy is it? It's uh, it's kind of like nunchucks, but they're smaller and square. They're like little, little pieces. And then they have like a kind of a, like a, what would you call it, Ant? Like Can a, I hold it before you do? It's uh, like little tiny square nunchucks made out of nice dark wood. But then it's got like one of them has a little extension on it that is like... Uh, the new nightsticks, the new cop oh, yeah. nightsticks, that's the a little extension. That's yeah. to swing it around and get a little better hit, right? All right. right. Uh -huh. oh. Oh. oh, that looks yeah, like that would hurt. It, it, he's, he's putting it yeah, so it sticks out know between a couple that. of his fingers. Like, Trust like me. you would hold like your keys if yeah, you want to yeah. punch someone with your keys. That's and what that little piece is for. And when Sam attacks me. Oh. All right. Go yeah. ahead, yeah, Sam. Now you would. All right, Sam's going to attack Poe. Oh, oh, boy. Please. Oh. Ah, Danny just pushed him into him. <laughs> I think I saw a jujube come out of your mouth. No. <laughs> no? I was mistaken. All right. No, there's candy in there. God, that would hurt. Go nice and easy, right? Oh, I don't right. want to hurt you. All right. Doesn't want to hurt oh, you. Oh, no. It just right. happened. I'm so glad that Poe's giving me out. illegal weapons, by the way. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Now you could just and then wow. oh yeah that would hurt drill it oh, into yeah. his head yeah position, and stab yeah. him yep. <laughs> and, yeah and then yeah. he's yeah. done he's yeah. done he's out that that's yeah. holy shit can I see it thanks but you could also use him as nunchucks <laughs> correct you could kind of like whack someone on yeah. the noggin with that that would uh, hurt that would definitely like if if you if you held that like you are and punched. That would break right through the skin, right? Yes. I would hold it up like this and go, don't come any further. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think, think that would work. <laughs> Craig and PA's right. I, I've always said numb, <laughs> numb chucks, but they're what? I, I've always said it that way. Nun, uh, nunchucks or tabak tayok? Tabak tayok is the Filipino term. Yeah. But how do you say the first one? Nut? Nut nunchucks. Nut. N-U-N. Nun. T. All right. Nut chucks. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> crusty rubber bands. All right, very good. All right, we got to take a break. Oh, wow. What? What did E-Rock write? I'll throw it in the garbage. That's what E-Rock wrote. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. It's his handwriting and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking set of balls on this kid. Sit back down, E-Rock. <laughs> Holy shit. What are you throwing in the garbage? A handmade gift? <laughs> That's a one-of-a-kind item. That he slaved over and over and over. How long did it take you to make that, Poe? 15 hours. In a row? Jesus. In a row. Please don't drop that. Yeah. Ow. Thank you, sir. I'll, there you go. I'll put them to good use. <laughs> <laughs> you could, what is that, rawhide holding them together? Yeah. Or something. Ow. 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 It's nice and light. You don't use it like... You I don't know. use it like... Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't swing them around like that. No. All right. Thanks, Paul. Paul, thanks thank for the you. apology. You're welcome, guys. I think that calmed everybody down. Yeah, People. you're still part we're of the starting club. A, we're starting a new, a new uh, sweep right. the slate clean. 